Fort Drum, 10th Mountain Division, Climb of Glory. Brian Menis here again, just to give you a quick update. Uh, we didn't do a town hall this week, but just still wanted to give you an update uh, about what's happening here on Fort Drum and in the 10th Mountain community. Uh, we didn't do a town hall update because there's a lot of uh, changes occurring um, from both 18th Airborne Corps, Forces Command, and the Army. So we're taking through this week to sort of sort out the instructions, what it all means to us, and so I can give you a, a good update again next uh, Tuesday at noon is when we'll do the next town hall. Uh, one, I want to just to congratulate everybody and tell you how much I appreciate your work uh, together as friends to um, care for each other and uh, still fulfill our obligations to stay ready here in 10th Mountain Division. Got a call from the 18th Airborne Call uh, Corps Commander today congratulating us that uh, our measures thus far have been proving fairly effective. Both here in Watertown have seen a very low incidence of new cases in over a week. And so we haven't had any new uh, COVID um, cases in that time. And I, again, I, I just want to uh, thank you and, and ask you to continue with the, the great work we're doing on the social distancing, on the way we're working through the commissary, our procedures at the gates, and really just adhering to uh, the no travel order and all that uh, during this period. And again, I recognize it's not business as usual. Uh, for many, it's a pretty good hardship. So we appreciate that. And, uh, and just want to give you some thoughts about moving forward. We're watching closely the national uh, studies on this virus and how to contain it, as well as uh, trying to fulfill our obligation to stay ready, as you know. Um, in so doing, you know, I've seen some great PT events going on at a very low level, um, some wonderful maintainers uh, keeping my equipment, our equipment, up to speed, and some really good virtual training. Matter of fact, I sat in with uh, a company commander uh, in 287 yesterday, uh, both education to his uh, platoon leaders, platoon sergeants, and then he had a session with his battalion command teams and the other company commanders about uh, leader development and, and training management processes and professional development, believe it or not. So I thought that was a really good example, amongst many others, of uh, things that are very positive in this, uh, this time. The SECDEF has uh, extended the stop move uh, from 11 May out through into June. Uh, we're trying to, as I said, dissect that to uh, determine what that means to each, every, each and every individual family and soldier out there. And through your chain of command, we'll, we'll inform folks on what that means to folks. We are starting to look at, you know, how to return, just like the nations. If you've watched the news, the nation and the states are trying to determine how best to um, return to normal if that's possible, and we're doing the same. Uh, the studies do say that once you do get to a, um, a level uh, COVID number, that uh, you can start implementing new things uh, back into normalcy. So we're looking strongly at uh, bringing folks, more people back to work to do other uh, leader and soldier training tasks, and uh, we're gonna do that over the next several weeks, so that, that'll be coming. Again, we ask your patience as we, we take a look at how we do it, at what time of day we do it, and, and you know, it's our obligation to maintain the social distancing while we do this, whether it's training, maintenance, uh, accountability equipment, all that stuff uh, that will be happening here at Fort Drum. As I said, i really respectful for everything that you do. Um, love watching our soldiers still, you know, having a great day. You know, hopefully it's full with activities for them, as, as full as it can be online, or whether they're doing fitness events. And uh, I think it'll benefit us in the long run as we all come through this together. So thanks again for what you're doing. As uh, I've said before, you know, the strength of our country is our army. The strength of our army is our soldiers. And the strength of those soldiers are his family and the people that support him. So thanks again for all you do. Climb the glory.